Those were the original buildings here. You see, there was an old two-story framed structure. There was one on the, the far corner down here, and then in the stone lot where we, you know, where all the gravel is now, was where um, where the original building was, and there was a blacksmith attached to it. this community and that's something to celebrate it's a remarkable accomplishment the oldest business in southern chester county community is only as strong as the folks that make up that community we are truly blessed in this neck of the woods i feel like i have the humble honor of representing the best part of pennsylvania so on that note i have a couple things here um Larry, why don't you come up here if you could First, I bring greetings from Governor Wolf. He's signed a proclamation here, recognizing 100 years of Oxford grain and hay and Oxford feed and lumber. So on behalf of the governor, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Stick around. Stick around. <laughs> we have more dust collectors. I mean, honor. <laughs> I'm also honored to present you with this resolution that passed the State House unanimously yesterday. Designating today, if we didn't have one no vote, designating today, <laughs> designating today 
Oxford Grain and Hay Day in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Congratulations. got you a big one too. <laughs> House Resolution 233. Congratulations. It's been a wonderful night. I have so many people to thank that we're not going to take the time for it. I've had a good life here and I've enjoyed it. I'm going to try to leave a legacy here with my generations that's gonna, that are working for me right now. I have children, I have grandchildren, and I have even great-grandchildren that help me when we have special events. And I admire them. My wife and I have raised a family that we're proud of. And I hope my legacy lives on. <laughs>